talking to my colleagues. If we get the cancer bulk load down, it might give you more time. This will be my fourth surgery in two and a half years, and I don't want to be cut up and sliced and diced again. It's been hard on Glenn and the kids because they feel like I'm okay with dying. I've often thought what would be the last thing I'd want to whisper into your ear as you're slowly passing. I'm going to see you on the other side. And we'll be together. How can you tell someone not to be afraid of death? Because they could look you in the eyes and say, how about you? How would you do if you were facing death? Not that we can promise everybody a cure, but it does offer people an opportunity that otherwise they don't get. I talked to you yesterday, you were normal, and now you're talking about mushrooms being sacred? What happened? Don't worry, I'm not a regular drug user. I've never done it before. There's quite an underground network producing cannabis oil, and people are breaking the law, but you know, So you would if you were coming up against something like cancer. You may go into remission, you may not, but your challenge is to enjoy the moment and be grateful. If this is my last year or two on Earth, I want to enjoy my life free of anxiety and the depression and the existential fear and dread. My big worry was, even if I don't survive, are Glenn and the kids going to be okay? It sounds crazy, but I felt like I was in the presence of God, whatever he or she is like. It was just this deep knowledge that everything is going to be all right.